Hello everyone, my name is Beth. Um, I'm talking to you from within my room as we are all self-isolating, as you know, meaning we're not going outside and doing the normal things that we do. So what I've got for you today is a little craft tutorial and a thought for the day to keep you guys occupied because I know you're probably getting a little bit bored perhaps and wanting to do different things. So this is a fun little activity we can do. I hope you're all excited and ready. Um, today we actually have got a specific theme as well and that is all about being kind. So we want to make sure we're kind to one another um, and we're, we're caring for one another really really well in this time when we are going to be in the same space a lot of the time uh, with the people who we're living with. So that means we are going to make da -da 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 -da, a being kind bumblebee. So that's what we're aiming for today. So I hope you're ready and I hope you like bumblebees. I really like bumblebees so I really like this craft. So we're going to be doing this one and we've got a little be kind thing at the bottom there so that will help us remember to be kind. Brilliant. So before I actually show you how to make this little guy, um, we're just going to talk a little bit about being kind. So one key verse from the Bible, which is a really good wise book, um, is Mark 12 31 and it says love your neighbor as yourself you might be thinking well who's my neighbor is it just the person next door well I think it's actually people who are around us even if they're next door they're your family they're your friends they're anybody really so Jesus was saying to love everyone just like we would like to be loved so if we think that we would like a hug, then we want to give someone else a hug as well because we think they would like that too. So that's verse number one. Verse number two, it's Philippians 2 verse 4 and it says, Don't look to your own interests, but each of you look to the interests of others. And this one is really good as well because you're basically saying to be kind to other people, think about what they would like to do. So if your sister or brother wants to go first in the game and you really want to go first in the game as well, then maybe being kind looks like letting them go first. So that's a good example of how you can be kind. Or maybe it's through your parents. Maybe they're asking you to tidy up and you don't really want to, but you know that they'd really like it if you tidied up at this point. Well, maybe that's a good thing to be kind is to go and tidy up while they ask you to. So... Once we've made this, every time we see it, we remember actually, what can I do that actually helps me be really kind to the people who I'm living with right now? So that's what we're going to do today. Brilliant. So think of yourselves what you can do um, to be kind all throughout this video. And I want to hear about them. Um, so you can definitely give me a comment of what you're going to do to help be kind. And what I'm going to show you now is what we need for this craft. So I'm going to show you that just a now. Great, so this is our setup for what we need. We're going to need key part, which is the toilet roll in it. So this is the body of the bumblebee. So definitely make sure you have one of these. I'm sure most people will have them. I hope you haven't thrown them away because we're going to need that. It's a very important part. Then what we need is some yellow paper and some white paper. If you don't have yellow paper, that's fine. Just get some white paper and colour it in. Um, yellow with a pen or a pencil, pen probably would be better, or you could paint it yellow if you would like to, because that's going to be the main face and body of the bee. We're also going to need a thick black pen for the stripes and for the face, scissors, sellotape, prit stick, and that is everything of what we need. So, if you want to pause the video, make sure you've got all of these things, then you can do that now and then come back and then I'll show you how to do the first step. Great, so stage one is the bee's body. So we're gonna need the toilet roll and the yellow paper. So what you wanna do is make sure that this goes all the way around. So to measure it out, you can just roll the toilet roll like so until it's all covered. If you would like to get a little pen to mark where it is, that might be helpful, just there and at the edge of the other side. There you go. So you can see two marks there, really rough marks, and what you can do is once you take this out, you can cut it according to that shape, okay? 
grey so I just cut mine out so that is going to make sh make sure it stays covering the whole of the toilet roll but what we're going to do is we're going to stick it down so we're going to get our glue and stick the inside of the paper and then stick it to the roll that's the next stage so you want to make sure that is a lot of glue get your Pritt stick out if you've got Pritt stick that's really handy if you don't then don't worry you can just use cellar tape which I'll show you in a minute and we're going to cover it as much as we can and then as you can imagine we're going to stick it on the roll like so so that is stuck down however it might ping off a little bit so that is why we're going to get a bit of cellar tape just to make sure it's really secure along this line for the body Brilliant, so I've got my sellotape sticking down onto the body to make sure the yellow stays down. Ta-da! And that is the first part of the body done. Next thing we want to do is the stripes, because you can see this little guy, he's got stripes, bumblebees have stripes. So we want to make sure we stripe three stripes down at the bottom, leaving a gap for the bee kind little reminder there. So we're going to do that in this section of the body. Great, so I've just done my three stripes and make sure when you do it you go all the way around so then it covers the whole of the body. So I'm just going to finish up just there just to make sure you've got some three really good stripes with that space at the bottom for the little be kind message as you can see there. So that is the body done, stage one is done. Good job everybody. And now we're gonna do stage two, which is the wings. So the wings are gonna be, as you can see, sort of like an ear-like shape. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna stick them with some sellotape on the back. So we're gonna get two of these on your bee. So what we're gonna do, get your white paper, and then you can either draw out or you can just cut that out if you feel confident to without drawing. A shape that looks a bit like an ear. Or if you think it's too hard to do that, you can just do like any sort of wing shape would work. So don't worry about that. So I've just drawn that out for myself. So I will be able to cut that out. And then once it's cut out, I'll just show you exactly where to stick it. Great, so I've cut mine out and I've got this one, a bit of sellotape on the back of it, so then it's going to be sticky on the front, okay? So that is our first wing ready to be stuck on the body. So here's the body, we want to do it at the back where the sellotape is and stick it just on top of the other sellotape there. So that is one wing already on in place. And now, get another piece of your sellotape do exactly the same but just for the other one so it will stick on like so so this is what you should have once you've done those stages ignore my lines that's just where I wanted to have a little guide of what I was cutting out <laughs> and that is your bee with wings now the next stage we're going to do is the face so the round circular face that we've got here is what we're going to be sticking on next so good job if you're doing that well and you finish that stay tuned for what we do next right so I've just cut out a large circle for the face and now we're going to get our thick black pen and do a really nice smile and eyes for our bumblebee and you can even do a couple of rosy rosy cheeks for the bumblebee as well if you have an orange pen or red pen but you don't have to if you would rather just leave it then that's fine and that is your smiley face done for the bumblebee and I'm going to show you exactly how to stick that on to the bee right now great so we're going to need a little bit of tape, so probably about that much I would say so that is roughly about 20 centimeters I'd say 10 centimeters perhaps sorry not 20 10 I'd say and what we're going to do is we're going to curl it just around so it sticks to the other edge to make it double sided. That might be a bit of a tricky thing to do. So if you need a, a parent to help you, then give it a go. But that is what we're gonna need to have a double sided bit of tape. And what we're gonna do is stick it 
on the back of the face like so so it's ready to be stuck onto the beak so make sure your parent helps you with that if that's a bit tricky then you're ready to stick in that large space is where the face is going to go so you stick straight onto the toilet roll right there and that's really 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 simple so we're almost done because we just need to do the little antennas and then we will finish with the writing and then we're done so get a pen the black pen and colour in a bit of your white paper if you've got black paper great but I don't have black paper and I don't think you necessarily need it but you just want to cut a little section that's going to be big enough to be the antennas so what I've done here got my scrap paper which I use for the wings um, and I've just coloured in a little section that's black and I'm going to cut that out now but what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut just like these ones little strips with little circular sections at the top just because then it looks a bit more like an antenna if you can't do that that's fine just do a strip so I'll just show you as I cut it a little bubble at the top can be quite hard to do that but no worries if you can't there we go so we've got one done and then I'm going to cut the second one then what we'll do is we will stick it with glue to the back of the bumblebee's face so as you can see on the one I made before it's just stuck here so it's it's less noticeable it looks really nice at the front and um, just like that so we're gonna get the glue and stick the black part at the front just a little bit at the bottom so we can stick this behind the face like that. So that is one antennae done, as long as the glue sticks and stays. There we go. And then I've got my other antenna, and then we could do the exact same thing, sticking this part at the bottom on the front to the back of the face, just like that. So there we go, that is our bee finish. However, the theme today was being kind so we want this to be our little reminder every time that we see it in our house that we actually we should be we should be kind do something that's really kind for others so we're going to write this at the bottom just like this one it says be kind and if you need your parent to help you then that's completely okay but what we're going to do is we're going to spell it with the two e's on the b because we're doing a little bumblebee so that's why we've done two b's be kind and there is your bumblebee done so well done everyone if you've managed to make that if you want to add a little extra thing to it then you can every time you've done something really kind add something into the little um, the little toilet roll you can put a base on the bottom as well just a bit of paper or a bit of card um, and stick it on the bottom so it doesn't fall out but if you have like pennies or marbles or a little a small jelly bean sweet or whatever it is every time you do something kind and um, you can add it in to your little be kind bumblebee so that's quite a fun thing you can do so i hope you've enjoyed this little craft let me know how it's gone um, i want to see your crafts all of you and and yeah, let me know what sort of kind things you'd be doing this week and i'll see you for the next craft next week bye everyone